EU citizens have given the European Parliament the responsibility to safeguard their values and their interests and to make sure EU policies are effective, outside as well as inside the EU. We understand our collective strength. The Union is the world's leading trader of goods and services. We are the top investor in overseas ventures and the number one donor to developing countries. And we understand our responsibility. We work so that the values of the citizens who elected us, values including human rights and democracy, are reflected in our policies and respected around the globe. How exactly do we do this? In many cases, our efforts begin in our committees. The Foreign Affairs Committee of the European Parliament plays an essential role. To control, to push, to be informed, to ratify and decide whether the executive branch gets money or not. We believe in parliamentary diplomacy, where we cooperate with Mrs. Mogherini, and I believe that it's very much important that the European Parliament can help to achieve a better outcome of the European foreign security policy. The European Parliament plays a major role on foreign policy. Interparliamentary diplomacy is something extremely important and helpful for our European work, but also the work that uh, the Parliament does in observing uh, elections worldwide. Uh, we have a strong cooperation and the Parliament contributed a lot in uh, the drafting of the global strategy that we will now have to implement. So on all major issues, the Parliament is there and we work together as a real team. The European Parliament has important budgetary powers. We approve the EU's seven-year budget and every spring we scrutinize the next year's spending plans. The European Union is the world's largest donor. We provide more than 10 billion euros in aid around the globe every single year. The job of my committee is to look at the Commission's proposals for the annual budget and we can make changes to the plans for development aid and humanitarian aid. We try to make sure that taxpayers' money is properly spent, that it goes to projects which make a difference to those people who most need it. This year, for example, we had as our priority funding for children in refugee camps to make sure they get schooling and education, help these people who are leaving their countries because of war and disaster, make sure they have a real future. The Treaty of Lisbon massively strengthened the Parliament's power. Today, most international agreements require our approval. The International Trade Committee has a big responsibility. We examine all trade agreements and we have to decide at the end of the day. The hot issue at the moment, of course, is the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership. We are following uh, the uh, negotiations. We have a close relations with the United States, but there's space for improvement. Only a good agreement has a chance to pass the European Parliament. We, as Parliament, rejected, for example, last uh, legislative term the ACTA agreement. It was a bad agreement on intellectual property rights. We want to have labor standards, environment standards in each agreement, and we are looking really hard for that. That's our responsibility. We also work outside of the EU to shape foreign policy and promote our values. Democracy, fundamental freedoms and the rule of law. Interparliamentary dialogue is a very useful complementary tool of the European foreign policy. In particular with Ukraine that I have the privilege to deal with on a daily basis. We follow the reform process, we support the implementation of the association agreement and also we are trying to create a greater sensitivity in the Ukrainian public about the European project. Our objective also is to build the capacity of our counterparts in order to become a standardized Western style national parliament. We've also observed many elections beyond Europe, in Asia and in Africa, for example. I've traveled 12 times as an election observer, most recently in Gabon as a chief observer. The European Parliament really represents democracy. When we are there, 
Our job is simply to observe, not to intervene. We assess how the elections went and how they could be improved. Once we are back at home, we follow up on recommendations. This work also serves our own interests. Building up democratic institutions contributes to a safer, more developed world. Foreign presidents and students, parliamentary speakers and opposition leaders, civil society and community representatives also come here to discuss current affairs and our relationship. Sometimes they address all my colleagues in plenary sessions. Sometimes I meet them privately here in the Parliament. I am Martin Schulz, the President of the European Parliament. I work with committees and delegations, with election observers and with many other members of the House, as well as with the Commission and the Council. Together we guarantee that the values, interests and the voices of the EU citizens are respected around the globe.